Wir haben heute Besuch bei Pop10 und zwar ist der wunderbare Ben Barrett bei uns. Der released am Freitag sein neues Album What Would You Like To Leave Behind. Hi Ben, how are you? Hello, very good, thank you. Ben, you're originally from London, but now you're living in Berlin for, I think, three years or something? That's right. Why? I mean, I think everybody comes to Berlin. Why? Everybody What comes to it? Berlin. Um, there must be so many answers to, the que to this question. Um, it's a uh, it's a very exciting place, and it's not just uh, Berlin, but actually um, the whole uh, German musical um, scene and, and and circuit to tour is just such a wonderful thing to be on, and uh, such an honor to be touring. Uh, and so Berlin's a, a very uh, exciting and uh, and and free and freeing place to be based. You've played in very different constellations with a lot of people and yeah. just alone. Sometimes you've played guitar, sometimes you sang. Um, what's the best? Is it better to, or is it, yeah, better to play alone because you can express it more like you want, or do you really, really love the big band? I just love playing with my friends. I, I like having more voices on stage. Um, I like having, um, I like having people's characters come out on stage, and especially when you get this, the songs so, um, so, so uh, sounding so good that people can start to improvise and change things. And that's the that's that's what I dream for my music to sound like, but ultimately, I get I guess my my philosophy on a good song is that it should work however you play it. So um, inevitably, I have to play on my own. It gets a bit lonely, but hopefully, the music still the meaning still comes across, you know. Um, so. Okay, so your new album, um, you recorded this with a Berlin band. Yeah. And how long do you think will you work with them? Because your constellations and bands are changing quite a lot well everyone's everyone's professional you know so i come from a scene of um i guess you call it in the in the 70s or 80s you'd call it session musicians it sounds a little bit grandiose to call that that now um but we all make a living playing music for other people so i play guitar for so many other people and so um people aren't always free at the same time mm -hmm. you know so it's it's like i i i uh, i love the idea of just having a, a big a big group of friends in berlin and in london um who 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 you can you can call upon to uh to play and add their voices to to the the concert saying that the album was really just four people so it's a very very close group on the album so that's that's what we tried to capture on record you know But um, um, I think for the second album, it's going to be 20 people or something. I don't know. <laughs> something like that. Okay, sounds cool. Um, the album was recorded with some DDR equipment. Is that right? It, oh, yeah. It was why? Old, why? <laughs> well, it, it's in this, I mean, it, there's a lot of studios in this building. So I think a lot of records have been made there in the Funk House um, uh, down on the Spree. It's just on the other side of the river from the abandoned theme park, actually. You can kind of see it. So it's this kind of crumbling relic. They're actually renovating it now, which is kind of sad in a way because it was very, very dusty and it smelt like my old science block at school, you know, uh, like really, really old building. And some of the, some of the equipment really made me geek out about, because uh, it sounds great, you know, really, really great stuff. But even the plugs don't fit the new equipment, you know, so it was, it was very interesting to to see and the producer Johannes Zahl um, really worked some magic with the sound trying to manipulate this old stuff to create distortions and edginess in, 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 in the music so it was, a, it was a very creative space to work. So it was kind of an experiment too like you had to... Every record's an experiment <laughs> every record's always an experiment and every, every, every group of people and every set of songs is an experiment and so I'm really glad that we got to capture that sound that time And maybe for the second record, we'll go for much more orchestral kind of um, okay. acoustic. I don't, I don't really know. <laughs> Whatever fits the music the best. You know. You've already played in living rooms. You have, you've already played on big stages. Um, what do you think will your tour be like? More the big stage or more the living room feeling? No, even, even if it's not the stage, but the feeling. I wish, yeah. In terms of big stages, yeah, I, th I think it'll have a. I think it'll have a little bit of both. I think the the music that I'm making has two sides, and one is this kind of exuberant, sunny, groovy side, and the other side is quite intimate and acoustic, and sometimes quite melancholic as well. And so, if if I'm doing it right, then if we're doing it right as a band, it'll be able to be both things um, together. But then, um, the stages won't be that big. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, 
So at Saturday, you're playing in the Volksbad uh, Buchau here in Magdeburg. Is there something special that you've planned for the Magdeburg people? Well, it's, th it's the first show of, of the tour. It's the, it's the first band show f for a while after the, the release of the album, which will be coming out on vinyl as well. Um, so um, it, it'll, it'll be that first show feeling, um, probably pretty unplanned, actually, which is maybe a good thing and maybe a bad thing, but it's definitely a thing. Spontaneous. Yeah. 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 Genau, Ben Barrett ist am Samstag bei uns hier in Magdeburg im Volkspark Buchau und am Freitag davor released er sein neues Album. Und natürlich sind wir nicht nur zum Quatschen hergekommen, Ben hat nämlich noch ein bisschen Musik mitgebracht und die sehen wir jetzt in der Session.